all right guys welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in to my latest rally video here we go we're doing a free stage event at montagut should be pretty easy get a um, bit tricky a quarter of the way in a bit of a tricky section there but it opens up a bit hopefully it shouldn't take us too long hopefully we can have a clean one so here we go make sure we're listening to that co-driver don't want to make any mistakes AI difficulty is set to hard bit hit or miss with the AI in this game but it's all about just experiencing the art of rally really enjoying this game like I say I think they've done a really good job it's going to be interesting to see what kind of job they do on the next year I mean a lot it's getting a bit of criticism this game for being unfinished but I just love jumping into it on my sim rig using the Thrustmaster T818 direct drive wheels just ragging this Hyundai around these tarmac stages got that corner a little bit wrong could have carried a bit more speed through there able to open it up now get some speed out of it tricky little right hander and then we're coming up to a tight tight left can't quite get the um, the handbrake quite right on tarmac it either doesn't spin out or spins out too much so I tend to not use it but there we go we're five seconds up just ahead of the class leader at the moment got a tricky right hander coming up drive it round get it up to 5th gear full beans now just slow down a bit for these corners coming up got a hairpin coming up do we use the handbrake and I choose not to might use it for this one there we go yep gets it round a little bit so yeah loving these rally videos it's usually RC videos that I do but um, rallying and um, racing games on my PC has always been a bit of a hobby for me I thought so I thought why not make a YouTube video out of it so any, any new people to the channel thanks for tuning in I don't claim to be an expert basically just doing it because I enjoy it and there we go nearly 10 seconds up we do adjust the difficulty as we go along so we're just about halfway through this rally stage now been quite clean so far some of these stages look really crisp and finished and then other stages don't seem to have as much detail and I think this this rally stage was one of my um, least favorites I think so here we go just got the last third of this stage to go hopefully we can keep it clean concentration levels at a max get it a little bit wrong there round the goal really red line in that engine tight left hand there run a little bit wide got to back off a little bit nearly kiss the barrier I like jumping into stages that you don't know so you just kind of like gotta play it by ear and just like live on the edge but this game's got so many stages so much content nothing better than finishing work and jumping into it and just spending a couple of hours rallying different r rally cars around stages around the world nearly to the end 
Don't want to make any mistakes now right near the end. Want to keep it clean. Got a lot of time to spare. Tight left hander coming up. Get it round. Sometimes I get distracted by the uh, scenery in this game. When you turn the corner and you see something you've not seen before. But yeah, there we go, boys. 20 seconds. Yeah, boys. One to good. AI difficulty 100%. Bit hit and miss this day of difficulty, but we've done alright. 22nd advantage to stage 2. And here we go. Uh, Le Argentera. Bit of a slightly shorter shorter rally than the previous one, but it's a lot more twisty. There's a lot of corners that can catch us out. Loving these four wheel drive cars. A lot of cars to play in this game. Struggling a bit when they um, when they drive the rear wheel drive cars are a bit hard to master. Tend to get a bit of oversteer and flip the back end out. Yeah, slightly darker, got our headlights on. Got them barriers to the left. Don't want to go too deep into any of these corners and get a puncher. Got the rocks to the right. Some interesting corners in this game though. Some interesting corners in this um, in this rally stage though. Round we go. A little bit wide. So we're leading at the moment. See if we can keep up our pace. I like my rally games because when you're doing circuit games you tend to get a bit bored after you've done like 10 laps of the same um, circuit. I tend to get bored but with rallying every corner is a, is something new. You've got to be a superhuman to be able to remember all these stages especially the ones that are like really long. So yeah get it wrong a bit, a bit get it a bit wrong into that left hander. It's hard to keep your concentration levels maxed out. Tight right hander coming up. Just done the first sector. I want to be able to practice, practice this game and use my actual shifter rather than using the shifter on the steering wheel. But I, I struggle a bit with the um, force feedback of the T818. It's like 10 newton meters, and I'm, if I'm just doing it one handed, I um, kind of think it's going to snap my wrist or something. So here we go. Very much a twisty section, twisty rally. Climbing up into the mountains. Just coming up to the halfway point. Tricky left hander. Tons of grip in this high undai. Opening up a little bit now, coming up onto a, this interesting part around about. I didn't know what to expect, it lost my way a little bit there. Here we come up to another one. I know what to expect now, so I'm able to carry a bit more speed. So it's just continuous corners. This stage got one more to go after this, and then we'll be at another new location, new rally, new services, new expectations, new challenges. Get a bit wrong there. Got a tight right hander. Bit of understeer there, run a little bit wide. Bit cautious through there. Just 
coming up on the last third. Two thirds of the way through, just got this last third to do, keep it clean. Get the line a little bit wrong there. And square right, tightens. 50. And we go get this. Start the last sector of this rally. See where we are on our time. Oh, a little bit deep, nearly kissed the barrier. Just in the last sector now. So there's a lot of tight corners, but there's not too many hairpins. Well, I'm really loving this game. It's been so long coming. A decent rally game on PC. I think next year's version of this game is going to be epic. Now that um, EA's got the license and Codemasters, who are kind of like veterans, are doing um, rally rally games and arcade sim games. I think we've got got, got good things coming. So just a few more corners to go. Got to make sure you keep your concentration levels to the end. You don't want to bin it right near the end. You always know you're near the end when you go under that barrier. Here we go. Just a few more corners. Oh, a little bit deep there. Yeah, get it wrong. See me handbrake. I need to practice in rally school. And there we go. Not a bad. Could have been a bit quicker in sectors, but overall. It's always a challenge jumping into this game. See where we place, boys. Not the most... Um, inspirational stage but we got through it 25 seconds AI yeah, difficulties on 100% not much more I can do I'm not trying to the greatest of drivers yeah boys see but yeah got one more stage and then this um, rally Iberia will be over so yeah on to the next stage and here we go this is the shortest one and the last stage of this rally Pretty much got it in the bag, I think. Three, Don't want to throw two, it away, though. One, go. Off we go. Five right, half long, one awesome location. The scenery. Tricky right-hander coming up here. Took me a few attempts to get that right, if I'm honest. Grip levels change a little bit with every stage. Depending on the weather and all that, I think they've really nailed nailed the physics in this game. A few people criticise what it's like driving on tarmac. I think my favourite um, surface to rally on is gravel. Yeah, I enjoy ra racing on gravel, mostly. Want to give a couple of the Subarus a go. Yeah, and the front wheel drive cars as well. I want to have a go with the Astra. Being the Vauxhall driver myself. Around we go, square, square left. Another tight left. Just coming up to finish sector one. Get a bit of a warning there for that corner, so I'm a bit apprehensive through there. Struggling to get into a rhythm in this one, it looks like. 
but I've never drove on this one before, so it would be nice if um, I use Sim Hub quite a lot, and it'll be in, it'll be good if they um, release a patch so that it works with Sim Hub, so we can get like um, live maps. If you have a tablet or something on your rig, so that you can see a map of what's coming up and that. Yeah, get it a bit deep there, nearly, nearly kiss the barrier. A little bit deep. Just coming up on the halfway point. Really, really enjoying this game now. I didn't really, um, I didn't really play Dirt, Dirt 1 or Dirt, Dirt 2.0 too much. So yeah, I wasn't that keen on Dirt, on the Dirt series. I, I played, um, I think it was Dirt 5, but the, um, the 1 and 2, I didn't, I would, I, I kind of like, I wasn't into gaming that much at that point. Yeah, really enjoying this game now. Yeah, so we just passed the halfway point. Very uh, twisty, this back half of the race. Oh, nearly lose it there. Don't want to punch in me radiator. Awesome scenery. A cool bridge there. It's quite hard to knock it. I think I got distracted a little bit there by the scenery. Yeah, so it's improved a lot since its update. It was a bit of a um, bit of a troubled start with the um, textures being a bit late loading up on scenes but they seem to have um, sorted that this is a brand new en engine using the Unreal Engine so it's going to take a little bit of optimization I think they rushed to get it out before Christmas and stuff it's all about making money in it it's what Electronic Arts all about there we go and there we go, we're near the end I want to try and keep it clean. Enjoyed that. Um, stage one and one and three were probably my favourites. I wasn't that keen on stage two, but one and three, I enjoyed. Come on, boys. Shall we play? And there we go. 14 seconds. So our overall time, nearly a minute quicker than everyone else. So 25 points for is puts us at the top. So there we go, event one of eight complete. And there we go boys. Some gold for the mantelpiece.